what is a buffer? I think that's a pretty reasonable question. It comes to us from Clay in Vicksburg, Mississippi. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. I remember as a kid learning how to spell that. And I thought, I am cool. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. And then we'd all wink. I said pee-pee. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Paul's gone off on a tangent. Uh, what is a buffer and how is it used in audio systems? Okay. So a buffer is a current amplifier relative to a voltage amplifier. So typically when we talk about an amplifier, we are talking about a voltage amplifier, which means little signal in here, big signal out here. So imagine your turntable, for instance. You've got a phono cartridge, you put it down on the record, it starts to play, there's a little tiny signal over here, and we're gonna put it through a voltage amplifier to start jacking the voltage up so that at some point we get a lot of voltage from this very tiny bit. And from there, we can listen through headphones or, or, or speaker system, whatever. There is also another kind of amplifier called a current amplifier. And a current amplifier treats voltage uh, as, as, it keeps it the same. So if I put one volt in, I get one volt out. If I put a, if I have, you know, a phono cartridge going in, I get exactly the same voltage out. The difference is I get a greater amount of current. And current is the power to drive something, okay? It, it, it's the, the watts, the, the, the amps. It's, it's, the, it's the motive power. Because if I have a fairly high voltage and I want to drive a speaker, if I put that, you know, higher voltage out of a voltage amplifier into a loudspeaker, the loudspeaker has very low impedance. It needs juice. It needs power. And if it doesn't have it, the voltage amplifier goes, <gasps> and the voltage just collapses down to nothing, and we, you don't hear anything, right? You need current. You need voltage and current. And volts times current equals watts. Volts times amps equals watts, right? So amps is the, no, I'm not. I know we were talking about PPs before, but here we go. <laughs> current um, is known as amps and volts is, is, is volts. So volts is the, the pressure and, and the current is the power behind it. So a buffer is a current amplifier. So if I have a fairly high impedance something on, on the left side, I'm going to put it into a buffer, a current buffer. And on the outside, I'm going to get exactly the same voltage out. But now, all of a sudden, I can drive something. So in this case, let's use an example of a volume control. Years ago, PS Audio used to make what we affectionately called a pots in a box. And it was just a, a, a volume control, which is a variable resistor, a potentiometer, and, and turns the volume up and down. But it's like 10K. And so that turns the voltage up and down. But it's also adding impedance into the line, resistance. And when I try and drive a cable, uh, when I try and feed an amplifier, I'm struggling a little bit because what we want is a low impedance driving a high impedance. And if we don't have that, the result can be rolling off the high end, the top end. If you're trying to drive long cables and you don't have any current to do it, you can, the, the capacitance of the cable will start rolling off the high end. It'll sound wimpier, you won't have as much bass, blah, blah, blah. So we insert a buffer. And a buffer is a means of taking that voltage and putting some oomph behind it so we can drive a cable with no loss, so we can have that great beefy sound to it. And and that's what, a, that's what a buffer is. <laughs> all right. Sorry about all the potty talk. <laughs> I never learn. Okay. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.